Hey, and welcome. My name is Eric from Games on Hyper, and I am here to show you today the outline system. So let's take a look. First of all, we will arrive in the settings area. So how can we set up this project in our own uh, in our own project? The first thing that we need to do is set up our project settings. Uh, it uh, uses a custom depth stencil pass, so uh, it's able to uh, uh, make a difference between several custom depths, so we can have multiple outlines. Um, I've made a world actor for you. You can drag and drop that from the content browser into the world, and your post-process settings are automatically set up, so you don't have to do anything at all. I have made an outline component and this outline component you need to add to your character that you want uh, to have the outlines enabled on uh, uh, from and uh, on that outline component you have several functions which you can call and because it is on your character you can call it anywhere uh, uh, where you want because uh, you can switch any outline uh, from any point of view so here we have the examples um, so we have three different colors predefined you can set up as many as you want uh, that's because we are using the custom depth uh, stencil and i have set up the values to one three and five and the reasons why, because if you are choosing one, two, and three, um, it will see the other uh, uh, stencil values as the outline when I am reaching an overlap of the same value. So as you can see right now, the yellow outline does not become red. That's because we have set up custom values. Um, these outlines you can toggle anywhere. I've set up some examples by a trigger event for, uh, I think this one is done via an interface. And as you can see here, it was the blue one, it's the red one, the yellow one, uh, but I can change it on any mesh uh, that you want and you can define it anywhere that you want. Um, I've also made it sure to include an example to say, okay, how can I toggle this on an action event? So I've made a line trace uh, by clicking on the left mouse button and you can see the red trace. And when I'm hitting a character like this, it will show an outline on that character. And uh, just as, as a bonus, I've also included a symbol. So. I am able to toggle them all on, but I'm also able to toggle them separately from each other like this. Um, I've included a symbol system uh, because you'll probably be well using this outliner system for an inventory system, a quest or dialogue system, something like that. Um, and most of the times when you say, okay, I want this uh, specific target to be outlined, you can also say, okay, I want a symbol on it, uh, just to make sure uh, uh, the people, uh, players are able to see it quickly. So uh, they are able to rotate, you can change the play rate, you can change the, the up and down movement if you want that, you can uh, uh, define colors actually. Um, and last but not least, you can toggle scene depth. As you can see here, the character that is, uh, the head is outlined, but if we use this trigger, these uh, uh, outlines are now not using any depth tests anymore. Uh, now it is, and now it isn't anymore. And you can use it for uh, multiple things, uh, maybe uh, for, uh, uh, for instance, like an Assassin's Creed style outliner uh, uh, where you're having this, uh, this kind of detective view and you can see enemies through walls. So uh, for these kind of things, uh, toggling the scene depth is quite handy. So yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I wish you a very nice day.
Se om.